We've been warning you about those mysterious seeds from China arriving in mailboxes all around the country. Now we wanted to know more about why they might be coming and the possible dangers they present. So we're bringing in Paula Tutman. She's been doing some digging. Paula. Hey, Karen. Yeah, in Michigan, of course, we're well-versed in invasive species. Think about what the emerald ash borer did to all of our ash trees and Phragmite. Once it takes hold, it just takes over, swallowing up waterways. Well, that's just one of the dangers, potential dangers of these seeds. And there's something very specific you need to do if you get them. We started getting our first reports on Friday. According to the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, the seeds have shown up in 30 states thus far, including Michigan. We don't know what's in these mysterious white packages. We know that they're seeds, but we don't know what they are. I have ordered seeds from Amazon in the past. I've never ordered seeds from this company. I can't even tell what the company is. If the name Fred Tutman sounds familiar, it's because he is my brother, a gentleman farmer on our family's Maryland farm, who is also a professional environmental activist and Patuxent River keeper, who has received numerous packages of these suspicious seeds. They are labeled in various ways. There's corn. Uh, what else do I see here? There was one arrived a few days ago I didn't recognize at all. Gourd Big Bottle. I guess these are gourd seeds. Uh, extra tomato seeds. He knew immediately not to trust the seeds. I'm certainly sensitized that um, you could put any number of things in a pouch and mail it to another place anonymously and it could create mischief, whether that was anthrax or, or whatever. That's not the first thing that came to mind. Mostly I thought it was some kind of weird mistake. Important. Don't throw these seeds away in the garbage. They might start sprouting in a landfill. So best, I think, to, um, you know, autoclave, destroy. You know, I'm a blacksmith. I, I have no shortage of places to burn stuff. So. And these are not seeds to be planted by the curious. Those little baggies could be a Pandora's box of problems from creating strongholds of invasive plant species, invasive insect species, and the like, all the way to some agriculture officials saying they need to rule out the threat of potential agricultural biological terrorism or warfare with a Trojan horse baggie filled with innocuous seeming seeds. At the low end of the threat scale, the seeds could just be a scam, but they are prolific enough to be handled with care, reported, and turned in. Don't open the package hold on to it and then report it to us. We are working with the United States Department of Agriculture's Animal Plant Health Inspection Service. They are the national federal agency in charge of this because it's happening across the nation. Again, don't open them. Certainly don't plant them. Don't throw them out. If you have to, burn them, but you also need to report them. And we're going to put links on our social media platforms just to make it easy for you so you don't have to search to whom you need to report them to. Karen? Oh, we appreciate it, Paula. It was so much buzzing on social media, so we, we really appreciate the clarification on what those are. Thanks. Still ahead. Serious. Oh, sorry about that, Paula. Still ahead, fast food changes. The biggest name in the business is closing restaurants and changing its policy on face masks. Also